I think I've just stumbled over Triumph's best kept secret. This bike behind me here looks like a Bonneville. It's a Triumph Speed Twin. It looks like a naked Bonneville, yet the only way I can describe it, it's a cross between a Speed Triple and a Thruxton. And actually, believe it or not, it is a Thruxton in different clothing. This Triumph Speed Twin was first debuted in 2018, then introduced into the market in 2019, and its first update came in 2021. Now it's a modern classic, and it is, as mentioned before, a Thruxton in different clothing. It's the same power unit, the Bonneville 1200 HP, the high performance motor in a slightly different state of tune, and it is pretty much a Thruxton with upright riding position, less weight, and a lower price. Let's look at the heart and the heartbeat of this motor and why this bike is so exciting for me to ride. It has that Bonneville 1200 HP high power motor. Just looking at it, you have the fins, it looks period appropriate, air cooled, the right color spark plug cap, the carburation look and the air box. Yet this is an ultra modern Euro 5 piece of equipment. It's a 1200cc parallel twin liquid cooled single overhead cam firing orders 270 degrees on the crank which gives you that power. Have a look at this radiator in a vertical position not horizontal sticking out. So when you look from the side it's completely tucked away you can't really see it and it looks air cooled. It looks old school. Those two headers coming out either side going to the back in this upswept look with the megaphones is just stunning this brushed aluminium or stainless steel look it is fantastic having a look at it like this it is like a bonneville look and period appropriate however it has the performance of the thruxton it's euro 5 as mentioned six speed box and you have the wheels are 17 inch front and rear a 12 spoke aluminium wheel you have dual discs in front 320 with the Brembo Stilema M50 brakes top top kit at the back you have two piston Nissan on a 220 disc good braking ABS all round your suspension has 120 mil travel front and rear but have a look at this you have Marzocchi's up front your dual rear shock at the back with preload adjustable your seat height is 809 millimeters which is very comfortable very low you stand flat footed and sure footed your fuel capacity is 14.5 liters wet weight of this bike is 216 kilos you have traction control as mentioned abs you have three rider modes road rain and sport led lighting up front and at the back just switching on you also have daytime running light there you go and the tires as standard on this bike are Metzler Racetech RR. Now with sticky rubber like that, performance of a motor like that, electronic aids as it has, this bike deserves an outing on a racetrack and I would love to take this ride around Kyle Army or some track like that and be an enemy to knee sliders and just have a whole lot of fun and that boyish smile back on my face. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on the bike, take you for a ride and let you see what fun this bike really is and this bike plays in a category where i would put the opposition as the bmw r90 also a nice twin a boxer motor the gaddy scrambler 1100 or the kawasaki w800 but i think what we're going to do is let's jump on it and give it a whirl as i mentioned at the beginning really a wolf in sheep's clothing it's triumph's best kept secret 
you've got a Thruxton here behaves like a proper sports bike cafe racer yet you are so comfortable you're not cranked over no pressure on your wrists or forearms you're sitting nice and upright you can commute with it you can ride long distance with it and not get uncomfortable you don't have to stretch as much you're not as cramped on the bike and everything you'd want from a cafe racer and Thruxton here in the Speed Twin. Extremely competent to run in traffic and lane splitting. I have put it in the road mode so that the throttle response is not quite as aggressive and snatchy as in the sport mode and you could actually take it one down to the rain mode just to help you out if you're not that confident and then the power delivery is really docile and smooth but also the handlebars are wide but not too wide like an adventure bike for lane splitting i like the fact that the handlebar and mirrors are at the ends because you really see past your elbows even if you lean forward in a more aggressive riding style adopting a bit of a motocross style elbows out these handlebar end mirrors you see past your elbows really solid mounting there's no vibration and you really get good visibility from these nice open cockpit looks great and that motor is an absolute gem absolute gem okay i've just switched over to sport mode now you can do it on the fly you just push the mode button release the throttle and off you go and now you can see if you roll on the gas it really whew, it's a lot of fun it's definitely more snatchy it's fantastic this is a beauty of a motor it's a gem and the brakes also the m50 Brembo's dilemmas are fantastic they are sport bike super bike brakes and the performance on this motor i think the the motor makes this bike it's really something that is just so much fun you can ride it docile here in traffic i'm just popping it back i'm gonna pop it into rain mode dip the clutch and rain here we go now you see when i roll on it's more progressive it's a lot smoother and makes it more comfortable in traffic but that sport mode wow that's when this bike really comes alive let's do a little bit of a roll on here in road mode Okay, that's not even sport mode this bike will be easy to put on the back wheel and pop a wheelie i think what we'll do now is we'll look for some twisties and go up the hill on our right here and play a little bit in road and sport mode and see the handling of this bike its capabilities now if the handling's anything like the gem of a motor then you have a phenomenal little motorcycle in this speed twin Oof. I am really enjoying this just listen to this oral delight if you want these are stunning megaphones and they just enhance the sound of this stunning twin the power it just pushes you forward doesn't matter how steep the hill gets it 
just has more and more and more. There we go. Woo! Gets quite loose in front on a steep hill when you just crank it on it lightens up at the front oh fantastic fantastic these are the kinds of roads for this bike this bike is fantastic it just got so much power on tap and pushes you forward and I'm still in road mode and it just handles unbelievable and there's just more and more power on tap Woo. Oh, the sound the feel the handling the power on this motor all just fantastic A bike like this is just so much fun because everything works it's classy the build quality the finishes if you look at that exhaust from header pipes all the way down to the megaphones the sound of it love the sound I love the sound of a twin and if it's combined with the proper pipes and it just accentuates that sound it's just stunning then you have a gem of a motor that is just a peach and then you have the top brakes and top suspension the build quality look at the clocks the attention to detail solid there's no rattle there's no movement these handlebars they are so stable and it shows in the rear view mirrors the rear view mirrors on the handlebar ends good visibility past my elbows it's just superb superb piece of kit it is a bike that is classic like the Bonneville yet in a modern day guise that makes it so practical so much fun and really I must say that for me the most surprising thing about it all is what you see in the bike and when you walk up to it when you jump on it it's not what you get you get so much more and if you have nothing to do if you have five minutes to spare go to Triumph and just ride this thing I'm telling you you won't regret it this is this is a bike I can rave about I really enjoy it. the last time I really had such a smile on my face whoo, whoo, I love this power the last time I had such a smile on my face was with a review with a rocket 3 it, it was just also one of those bikes you know you're getting onto a rocket you swing your leg over a missile yet when you actually open the throttle it's next level you expect something but you get something so much more and this is the same type of bike you walk up to it and in the back of your mind you think naked Bonneville when you swing your leg over it it is more in the guise of a Thruxton slash speed triple and handling through these mountain roads I have no problem the one thing that takes getting used to a little bit is that the power when it comes on hard and strong definitely wants to pick up that front wheel and make it light so once you're more familiar with this bike you can really bring out the hooligan in you and just have so much fun it's it's sick how much fun this bike can give you and it's no big skill to wheelie this bike nimble zippy commuter weekend warrior Whew. I can just see hanging around the outside of a bend on a track around a superbike. It's really going to make those guys sit up in that seat. The beauty with twin motors is that at lower RPMs they have the power to push you forward nice and sedately. The bike doesn't splutter and it just moves forward so you can actually be lazy in the gearbox and keep it one gear higher also if you have a little bit of gravel on the road and you're quite unsure if it's going to spin up the back wheel you just click a gear higher or two and it just it does what it needs to and it's not going to scare you it has the torque to push you forward 
you don't have to work the gearbox to be in the right gear to punch out of a corner with the high torque it's always going to push you forward and you can be a little bit lazy when it comes to the gearbox now when it comes to handling of this bike as you can see the mountain roads the twist is just so much fun and as you open it up exiting the bends the front gets light it's exhilarating it's fantastic and you don't expect it from a bike like this when it comes to brakes really this is bordering on overkill for this bike you can do stoppies easy the Brembo's dilemmas and just ample power no fade solid braking on this bike the suspension fantastic it's firm not too firm the seat the bench type seat also it's well cushioned but it's not saggy like you're sitting in a couch it's a good feel i wouldn't want to tour for three hours on the seat but i don't think this is a touring bike although if you stop every two hours and stretch your legs i have been known to do stupid things like take a moto gutsy barber all the way to cape town so don't take me as the measuring stick for that one on a hot day like today standing around at traffic lights and that you can sometimes feel the heat emitting from the sides of this motor but that's immediately gone once you pull off also have a look at flat footed knees bent i am really comfortable seat height is low tried to pull off in third gear pulled off in second gear that's how powerful this motor is pulling off in second gear not a problem I hope you enjoyed this review with me of this Thruxton in different clothing the Triumph Speed Twin if you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up hit the like button also please hit that subscribe button so you can help me build a channel also if you like the reminder bell so you always know when I'm uploading new content